Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Eastward. Last time we went above ground to the Forbidden Lands, explored a pretty good amount of these ancient ruins, and now we are on our way to hopefully find Sam. So let's go ahead and get started. I feel like exploring ancient ruins and trying to find children in said ruins, and there she is. Liking the video, commenting, and subscribing would be super cool. Okay. Seems like Sam's way ahead of us. Very nice. And she's gotten a taste of what is to be seen. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's not good. Is this the Iron Dragon they kept referencing? It is. This is the one of the first boss fights in the game. This, my friends, is said Iron Dragon. Anytime that you see that little blue light flashing its head, you're going to want to get ready to toss a bomb its way. You're going to need to continuously move around in this fight. It'll suck up your bombs. Anytime that it does that flashing blue light, anything else is not what you want. This bite, this bite, this boss fight is pretty standard. Um, it can be a little intimidating at first when you don't know what to expect from this guy. But just be kind of on your toes. Be ready to move out of the way anytime that it flashes anything not blue. It'll be shooting projectiles, obviously, in the way. From time to time, you may need to use your own bombs to get rid of the projectiles. It is also pretty fast. I thought I was going to be able to get out of the way there, and I was wrong, so. I'm not sure exactly what this thing is called. Um, we'll just call it Underground Ancient Ruins uh, Robot. <laughs> Although it's not technically underground at this point, because we are above ground. Well, almost. Yeah, the big thing is just being able to get out of the way. Make sure you're clearing a path for yourself as you move. You're not going to want to get stuck on the set design here. And make sure you keep getting those bombs. If you, if you don't, then you're going to be in trouble. But that actually is it. For some reason, the first time I played this, I had a lot of trouble with that. But <laughs> it's a pretty easy boss fight. It is technically your first boss fight of the game. But winning does increase our hearts. And we should be able to get to Sam now. Ooh, maybe not. Seems like there was an extra punch with that boss. Maybe John's not doing so well. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh, John. What happened? Yikes. There must have been an additional explosion with the robot. I don't think there's anything Sam can do. Hmm. Seems like we're in pretty rough shape. The only one around is us? That'd be really creepy if you saw this happen. I don't think this manifestation of who we are is very interested in helping us. I mean, I guess if you want to look at it as them trying to empower us, then I guess that's technically a way in helping us, but realistically speaking, that's pretty much the only thing that this ethereal version is going to be able to do. But here's a little bit of a hint. The only way to see the light is cut through the darkness. We're finally going to learn something very special about Sam. So here we go. 
now we are in control of Sam. And as we can now see, Sam has magic powers. So, unlike John, who is your melee character, you're going to be using Sam as your mage. And she has learned the energy bubble. This is her basic attack. Now, it's not much of an attack, but it is her basic magic power. Okay. So, where do we need to go? You can see that this can briefly create a little bit of a bubble that will provide light. But you know what provides better light? Uh, mushrooms, duh. And as you'll see in the bottom left, Sam has a magic meter that does have a cooldown that you'll need to wait for over time. However, lighting up these mushrooms temporarily does provide a little bit of luminescence. Not evanescence. Wake me up inside. Um, where you can use it to see. And I'm already lost. Great. But we need to get some help. That's what we're trying to do. So hopefully we'll be able to find somebody or something that can get us something for John to get him back and up and up. Now, another secondary property, as you've already seen, of, um, of Sam's powers is that it can temporarily stun enemies. So that's pretty cool. But yes. The larger mushrooms, these blue ones, will light up an area and some of it will restore your magic power. Whereas the smaller ones that kind of look like bags of garbage, beautiful design, those ones will just act as obstacles that you'll need to clear out. This is a little bit of a maze here, just to get you kind of used to Sam and her powers. Remember to take it slow. The annoying snake monsters, of course, will be trying to take you out, but that's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Sam now is moving at a quicker rate because you can see the exit, so there you go. You don't really need to do too much more after this. Just walk it on through. Who is this? Is this some sort of a sky ninja? Where are you from? More minor characters? So one of the things that this game does is it does introduce characters that on the surface ha have a chance to be pretty interesting, but it doesn't really flesh them out in a way that makes you care about them, unfortunately. So you'll see that these characters are cool, they're interesting, they have nice designs, and the initial setup gives them a chance, but I don't really feel like the majority of them are anybody that I'm endeared to, but you can decide that for yourself. So it seems like this character has a drone of sorts? that is capable of exploding. It's pretty neat. Or maybe it's not exploding, but it's providing explosives. Seems dangerous. Oh. Timing was a little off. Hee hee hee. Makes you wonder, is it the drone or is there somebody operating the drone? Pretty joyful music for blowing up a tunnel. Izzy, huh? The discovery of the century. Is it spicy chicken nuggets? Huh. Well, it appears that she's not from around here. And she's trying to take a little look around. Maybe we can go talk to them. Maybe they can help. They look like adults. Or at least she does. Oops, slipped and fell. Oh, looks like Chuck's been hitting the sauce. 
Maybe he can help us. Yosemite Sam and Chuck. Well, clearly, if you've been watching the intro, um, a science lab. Duh. Kind of has a little bit of Last of Us vibes. Spoilers. Don't worry, we will continue today. And we will also save our current progress. We will not stop until we get John some help. This episode and the next one, actually, all three of these, it's going to be a trilogy of more action-oriented episodes. We were able to drag John out of there. I don't know if he's going to be completely okay. Some bed rest usually gets you tip-top, but... There's nothing saying that he's going to be okay. Some gel? Are we talking like... Paul Mitchell? Like, what's going on here? I remember back when I was a kid, and it was all the rage to gel your hair. And I don't do that anymore because I am not a child. All right. So we need to get John some gel. But the hang up is that the only person who can make gel is a quack doctor at the bar, Baguda. Let's go talk to Baguda. We need to get John some gel, get John some help. Okay. Let's go ahead and check our quest log here. Sometimes when I look at that, I almost immediately forget what I see. It's exactly what I probably did already. Looks like we're gonna go this way. Not sure where the bar is. Probably, that's the grocery store. What are you doing? You came out of it looking pretty drunk. My guy. Ooh, it's not very optimistic. Now where is this bar after all? Let's check it out. Have I gone? Oh, wait. Did I go past it? Is it this? Maybe it's this. This is pop, though. Here's a new music track. Let's go ahead and talk to the individuals around. What do you mean still doing here? You make it sound like I've been hanging out, like I'm a regular. Oh, that's nice, at least. Sometimes it's hard not to take mistakes and things like that personally. Seems like we've got some live music that we cannot do anything about. Oh no. Well, that's a problem. So apparently Baguda already knew about this somehow, and left to find John as well. So, if that's the case, that means we have to go find Baguda, who's trying to go find John. <sighs> Alright, viewers, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? We're gonna need to re-explore the dig site. Sure did. John Dunn got himself injured? Maybe you could, uh, yeah. Hold off the head honcho for us for a little bit. So now we send little 10 year old Sam down to the dig site. Let's go ahead and save really quick. Blah, 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 blah. No time for existentialism. Excuse me. I don't remember if we're supposed to go, okay. Good thing that the game tells you. Back in the day, the game wouldn't have told you, and you'd just be SOL. Go ahead and dodge the slugs if you can. Just keep in mind that Sam can't really do any damage. Is this Baguda? Hello? Oh, I guess you are. 
That's convenient. How do you know us? And how did you find out about this? Word must travel pretty fast in Pogrock. Well, I mean, you're here. Makes me wonder what this guy's been doing that he's taken time to develop this gel. And he just has some on him? Uh, that looks like pee. Is the gel pee? Forbidden Fay and lay in front of the mayor. Got it. Thanks, I think. Yeah, that's another thing. One of the tendencies this game has is to send you on fetch quests that don't really go anywhere. It kind of does that a lot. It just expects you to go to these places. You do the thing, you come back. I mean, I guess it's relatively standard for gaming. It's not like this is a game that is doing something that a lot of games in the past haven't done but it's it's pretty direct it's like you're gonna do this one thing and then you're gonna do this next thing and then that's it and there's nothing that's gonna come of that you just clear the flag clear the flag move on it's a little strange but you know what it makes things simple at least all right fellas how's uh how's john doing okay thanks great See if Yokar can apply said P gel to John. John, I have the P! Why are you so wobbly? Did you have too much gel? Maybe this will be just the thing to get John back on top. It's a little bit of bed rest and pee, and that's all we can do, really. Can't even make him a meal. Come on, that can't be it. John, do you have the will to live? Pull through, please. Whoa. Some sun rays bursting through the roof, which shows that there's probably not a fully patched ceiling here, but we are underground, so I'm not entirely sure how this is working. Where's the sun coming from? Sam has a little show and tell to do, but it appears that John is, I guess, well enough to be up and walking around. This is only just a little bit of time. Something must have changed though. I don't feel like that sunlight is normal. At least not for these guys. Uh... Okay, maybe we're not okay. This doesn't seem like pot crock to me. Must have been some strong gel. This must be what the above ground looks like after all. Not that I'd know. But we found it. This is actually the end of the game. Uh, so enjoy this cutscene. Pretty short game. Um, only six episodes. Kind of weird that they only planned it with a prologue and just one chapter in mind. But, you know, indie games these days, they're all about that pixel design and short stories. Very peaceful music though. A lot of government drones flying together, looking for infidels. This is like some lo-fi music I could imagine sitting and listening to while I would have been in uh, my post-secondary years, but I don't really feel like lo-fi music was much of a thing back then. 
but there you go viewers ah oh, man it's been a lot of fun um yeah i didn't expect this game to go by so quickly but here we are beautiful png of the esport title probably not on transparency so when you try to find it in google you have to do it yourself people that do that irk me if it's not really transparent don't do it don't put it up there okay just kidding that's not the other game john was dreaming as we are being told you have to get better or else once you're better no more p and we can get it we can get some some education that's good we can go to school play some video games obviously sam is just trying to cheer herself up and give john something to live for uh oh who's this visitors oh no oh this is bad of all the people to see the little white oh no 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 do not like mayor hoffman bad man don't say that it's weird well that's good at least you and your weird crop top jacket maybe get some clothes that fit you are you kidding me he's covered in pee guess you don't know what an explosion looks like I don't know about that. I'm thinking you might like his work ethic, not the man himself. Yeah. So wiggly. Um, search and rescue requires searching and rescuing. Sorry. Ooh, Sam has a grumpus face. Look at that. Tell him. Yeah, I think she does. She's from there. She's a local. I mean, it's not like we have to try very hard. But this kind of seems like par for the course for Mr. Hoffman. Oh boy. This doesn't sound good. Oh no. Oh, hey, fellas, what's going on? Good to see you. Hasn't been that long, has it? Oh, no. Where are you taking us? Uh, excuse me, are we being incarcerated right now? We didn't do anything wrong. Well, we kind of did. We kind of broke the big rule, but we, you know, we didn't do... Everything wrong. Wow, what a bunch of jerks. Oh, thanks, Yon. Thanks for sticking up for us. Only trying to watch his own back. Screw you, I got mine. That's the Yon type. What a jerk. Yeah, yeah, you know he doesn't care much for your kissing up. Yeah, the mayor's not buying it. He's like, get out of here. For the banishment? That sounds way bad. Is this some sort of a ritual? Oh, boy. Okay. Sounds a little theatrical, but 
what politician isn't. Hmm. This guy's a piece of work. Okay. This is getting kind of weird, but at least this music is cool. Seems like the mayor has a penchant for the theatrics. So we were just in the above ground, and now we're being banished to where we just were? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sanctuary's Land. Potcrock is Sanctuary, huh? Okay. Seems like the above ground might be a better place to be then. Don't forget to use malevolent grip viewers. Miasma. Miasma. That actually does factor into something later. That's a little bit of a foreshadowing, as we like to say in the business. This game does, does love its miasma. Apologies again for the language. Yeah, practice makes better. Or perfect if you're me. Er. Well, that's not good. Seems like we're in a pretty rough spot. Huh. Well, looks like we're kind of stuck in... Stuck in the squatter for now. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, we saved John. Well, fortunately, we saved John, and unfortunately, it led to us getting stuck here, which is something that we'll actually have to take care of next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Eastward, and we'll break out of jail in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.